There are some common methods that we can run on search, just like on the list, on tuples. We can also check the length of the set. We can merge two sets together with the help of update method. So add the elements of set two and set one. And it will, of course, it will only add those elements which are unique to set one, okay, which are not already present in set one. And then add value we have already seen, remove, pop, and clear. Clear flush out all the contents of in a, in a set. So com common theory, set theory operation. So intersection. So intersection returns a new set containing only the elements in common between this set. This is a set dot intersection. You are running an intersection function on a set with some other multiple sets, set A, set B, set C, okay? So if this is one set and this is another set, only the elements that are common to both will be returned, okay? Let's talk about the union. So it returns a new set containing all of the unique elements in, in all sets. So for example, here we have crayons. So here the pink, the first crayon is a common to both and all of the elements are unique. All of the crayons are unique. So the new set with the union of set A and set B would containing all unique elements and this, uh, this is repeated only once, okay? So this is the functionality of union, taking a union. What about the difference? So it returns a set containing only the elements of set that are not found in any of the provided sets. So for example, we have to calculate a difference set one from set two. So this is the set. So let's say this is the set and you want to create, um, find out a difference with set A. You can create, uh, calculate the difference with multiple sets. Um, um, you do not need to be uh, calculating a difference with only one set. So here in this example, we, we are finding out the difference with only one set. So set one minus set two will give the elements which are not present in set two, okay? The last one is symmetric. So again, if you have a set named set A, set underscore A, and we want to find out the symmetric difference. So it returns a set containing only elements that appear in exactly one of the set. So this is the example. So all the elements in this part and all the elements in this part. So if they're repeating, it actually removes those elements and containing all the elements which are not present in, which are not common in uh, both of them. Okay, so considering this thing in mind, do this activity. 